Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to reinstall Microsoft Store on Windows 11 in no time. But first of all, I'll show you a few tips on how to reset this app because you might not need to reinstall the app. So the first thing you should do is reset Microsoft Store. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. Afterwards, make sure to click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side, select the installed apps category. And now in the search apps box, simply type store. And as you can see, we're getting Microsoft Store as a search result. In here, click on the three dots next to the application and select the advanced options. Now what you have to do in the next window is scroll down until you find the reset category and you can start by clicking on the repair button. In this case, the app's data won't be affected at all. But if it's not working, you can also reset the application, but in this case, the data will be deleted. Afterwards, restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. Alternatively, you can also reset the application by following a run command. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in run and select run as an application from the search result. Now what you have to do in here is type the following command. Afterwards just press on OK and then wait until the Microsoft Store will reset. Then you can check if the problem still persists. So if these first tips didn't work, now we can just move on to reinstalling Microsoft Store. To do this right click the Windows button then select Terminal as an administrator and from here on make sure to copy paste the first command that I posted in the description below. And as you can see the first command will remove the Store app then restart your computer and once again enter Windows PowerShell. Again, right click the Windows button, then select Terminal as an administrator and copy paste the second command, which will reinstall Microsoft Store as an application. Afterwards, just close this window, restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.